All right, boys and girls, thanks for stopping by. My name is Don, and this is Adventures This Way. Today, I wanted to talk about owning my Can Am 1000 Renegade. That's the 2021 Can Am Renegade XMR 1000R engine. The Visco 4 lock and the Neo Yellow. That's a mouthful, eh? I've got about 30 hours on it, about 400 or so kilometers. I've got a good handful of rides on it, so I just wanted to go over and do a little bit of a review, talk about things I like, things I don't like, whatever. Tell the honest truth, there's really not a lot of things that I don't like about it. Just a few nitpicky things, that's it. Hey, here come some bikes. What I would have to say I'm most impressed about is the overall power, power delivery. I couldn't really ask for more. Now when it comes to power, the biggest issue with the Can-Am Renegade and all the Can-Am products is the clutching. But I already knew that going in, I already knew that going in, their stock clutching is, leaves a lot to be desired. So you gotta upgrade. Man, tires and clutching make all the difference in the world. You upgrade the clutching and oh my goodness, you get the power to the ground, you get a more aggressive set of tires, and you can do an awful lot without having to change anything else. I would have to say overall my biggest gri gripe uh, comes to just some of the engineering and like number one just accessing some of the stuff down here like in order to change your front diff fluid you can't access the skid plates in the way why I'm disappointed in that is that I've actually noted that the engineering is actually really good on a lot of stuff I like how everything's greasable you can get at everything really the biggest thing is this front skid plate, like it's not meant to come off. Like it's really not. The center one and the middle one, like wow, they're brutal. I, I, I don't like that it doesn't come with a, a rack. It should come even just with a small rack. The amount you pay for this premium machine, you should be getting more. At least a little rack you can mount whatever you want onto. That's what I think. So what's probably one of the biggest things that I really like about the machine as of getting used to riding it is the shorter wheelbase works really well. Some people may not know is that with the Renegade, your front tires stick out. They're the furthest thing. They're the furthest thing in front of you. So you're always hitting your tires first. It'll pop you up and it really does climb quite well. It really, really does. And the other thing I'm probably the most happy about is the front diff lock. That was one of the biggest reasons I really chose, it's one of the biggest reasons I chose this machine. Magic button. And the front drive system is something I, I did not like for many years and it kind of held me back from Can-Am. But now that they've got this, it's a game changer, man. I'm, to I'm telling you, it's a total game changer. It's funny, I'm trying to do a video and there's people coming by, but that's cool, no big deal. I'm just hot standing here in my waders. So uh, one of the other things that I really like about this machine is the power steering, the tri-modes. I usually just leave it in medium or I turn it on high and really tight stuff, but I pretty much don't change it very often. But I really, really like it. It's easy to turn. It, it's just hand, and it handles really, really well. It really does. It does what I want it to do. So I really like that. I like everything about the Renegade. I really, really like it. It's, it's comfortable enough. 
The power delivery is great. I love the seating position. I mean, I've said a lot of these things already in some other videos. Uh, just with the general, uh, with the Outlander. But I, I, I like the seating position. You got to add a bar riser. Once you add a bar riser, it brings everything up enough. Uh, and it, I've really noticed it already. It's a lot easier on my, uh, my upper body. <laughs> Again, that also ties into another thing that I don't like. And I really don't like, I don't like love these tall foot pegs. Uh, the, for the purpose of them, once this is all full of goop, it's great. It's a minor detail. Like, I don't know, man. I'm... So there's really not that many things that I don't like about it. I, I'm being about as honest as I can. Uh, I'm really happy with the machine. Um, I've gone through all the service on everything. Everything's been changed. Um, I've done it all myself, so I got to learn the ins and outs of it. Now, the only thing I got left to do is uh, I can explain what I like about this thing. The only thing I can do is I can just show you. thing that I, bothers me and it's just a gripe the little there's a little hole right where you have to reach down underneath for your latch and that fills up with mud and dirt and crap all the time so it's just a minor thing really so one more thing I really do like about the machine is the modular design of the plastics now it definitely takes a little getting used to but uh, sometimes I have trouble popping this stuff out it's so nice to be able to get access to everything uh, without really using any tools. Like you really don't. Pop the center one off, easy. Uh, the snorkel horn comes off, easy. Just uh, two push tabs. Like back on my old Sportsman, it had a lot of push tab rivet things. You had to take a lot of them off. It was really hard to get at stuff. It's easy to unlatch the seat. Pop the center one off, these two side ones, and you're getting at pretty much everything you need for the most part. Now, with that being said, it's something I like, something that I don't like about it, and it really is a gripe, and when you pay top dollar for arguably the top machine out there, the most expensive ATV available, the fit and finish of the plastics is subpar. It really is. Like, this doesn't fit in right. Um, like these tabs here, like that's as far as it goes in. Like they just don't line up very well. Yeah, the fit and finish is not great. You really got to work things to get them to sit in properly. Like they really don't line up that great. You know, it could be better. Like that's, look at, see look at the lines here. That one goes in kind of tight. That one's not bad. But this, look, it's on an angle. Like just, you know, these are just little gripes, little things. And this grommets, I lost a grommet in there. I don't even think it was on properly when I got it probably and it just fell right off. Uh, what's something else that I don't like about it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know yet. Huh. Something big comes up, I will definitely let you know. Okay, let's get out of here.